everyone, this is Yolanda from the Offcrafts channel and today we're going to be learning how to make this, um, I guess you could wear it like this, like an infinity scarf. It's pretty long um, and this is not my pattern, I got it off of the internet or else you could turn it around, fold it over and you could wear it like a big chunky um, cowl. And I made this one, can you see with this um, chunky, really pretty um, I guess I'm not really good at fixing it, but you guys would, you know, just kind of adjust it there. And this is a pretty thick um, yarn. So then I wanted to, I couldn't demonstrate the stitch very well on this. So then I did another one here. This is with a super saver and see um, the same thing, but so you can wear it this way, just like this open or around your like that almost like an open shawl or else you could like I said you could turn it around and then wear it like a cowl like this and the purple one it looks kind of neat under like a your jacket or something or you could even use the top the back you could cover your head almost like a snoot you know just like that so anyway uh, I'm going to put the link to the blog for Liz's blog. She has a lot of really pretty things and I want you guys to go check out her blog. So here is two different ways to make it. And uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. And I just wanted to just see the difference between a chunky. When you use the chunky or the chunky yarn, then you need to use a size K hook. And with the Vanna's Choice or the Super Saver, then use a J hook. So I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial. Hello everyone, to begin our cowl pattern, this is not my pattern. This is um, done by Liz. And she has, I will put the link for her blog and her Ravelry page. She also sells these on her Ravelry page. But she put the free pattern on her blog. So I will put her uh, link there so you can see it. She has a lot of really pretty things on there. And I just saw this... Uh, this cowl and I just really really liked it. I'm going to be making this as a Christmas gift so I'm using this uh, fancier uh, marble chunky yarn um, and uh, she used for hers the Vanna's Choice which is a great choice because it's so nice and um, soft. I love Vanna's Choice but I had bought this yarn a while back didn't know what I was going to use it for and so now I know what I'm going to be using it for for this. To begin the cowl you're going to need a medium weight yarn like the Vanna's Choice and a J hook um, and so I'm going to be using this pretty uh, yarn and uh, you need three skeins of the Vanna's Choice um, this one here is 200 grams so hope I'm hoping it should be enough and to begin you need to be your chain has to be an odd number of chains so you could either do 119 or 121 chains to begin to begin then we're going to wrap our yarn around our finger and do our loop bring it back and put our yarn hook in there make sure you make it loose enough so you could slide it back and forth and remember to do your yarn to do your chain you're going to yarn over meaning you wrap your yarn over your hook and you're going to pull through so there's one two, three, and um, she says to do it, uh, to do your first chain loosely. So I was, I tend to crochet super tight. So I have to really consciously remember to do it loosely. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my 121 chains. And then we're gonna come back and show us how to work our rows for our, this beautiful project. Okay, everyone, I have finished my 121 chains. And what Liz suggests here is working on the first row, your bottom row, so that when you get to the end, your chain won't be twisted. Because sometimes when you do it, you know how I always say to grab it and then pull it to make sure it doesn't twist? This way she assures that it doesn't twist. And then you just crochet the end um, tail together. Okay guys, I did, like I said, I did my um, cowl or it's also called an infinity scarf. I did mine with the thicker purple yarn, but it's hard to see the stitches in that yarn. So I'm going to be working, showing you how to do the stitches with this yarn so that you could see uh, it more clearly. The other way you can't really see where the stitch is going in, 
because of the type of yarn it is. So here, remember, you have to do 121 chains or 119. It has to be an odd number. So if you want to do it for a child, then make sure you just measure around their neck, but it has to be an odd number. So here, once we start doing it, usually I tell you when we're going to be working in the round to go ahead and connect it now. Since this is a really large scarf, um, the way she does it is that she works the first row and then connects it afterwards so that she makes sure that way your chain is never twisted. To begin our pattern then for the first row, we're going to start on the row that is on the fourth row from the hook, uh, fourth chain from the hook. So here's one, two, three, four, and we're going to work in row in chain four and five. So here we're going to begin with a double crochet. To do the double crochet, we're going to yarn over, we're going to go into that fourth chain, we're going to pull out, you're going to have three loops on your chain that first chain three counts as one double crochet and um, so now you're gonna have three here you're gonna pull through the first two do not pull through the next two yet because we're gonna do a double crochet decrease now we're gonna go into the next chain wrap our yarn over our hook we're gonna yarn over go into that fifth chain pull out our yarn you're gonna have four loops you're gonna pull out through the first two There'll be three left, and now you're going to pull through the next three. So that's your decrease. And now you're going to do one more double crochet into that same chain here. And it's, you'll have three, you pull through two, then the next two. And that is the pattern, okay? So now we're going to go to the next, that next chain, yarn over, going to make a double crochet here, decrease. So here's one, you're going to go through two, leave those two there wrap your hook again go in through the next chain pull it out there'll be three excuse me four loops on your hook you're going to pull out through the first two there'll be three left you're going to pull out through the next three and now into that same chain you're going to do one double crochet by itself there's three loops you pull through two and then through two you're going to repeat this all the way across um, this is the pattern all the way across so go ahead and go and do this See, now we're going to our next decrease here. You're going to do that all the way across the chain. There's three, now we'll go through there. And remember, then here, in the same chain as our last decrease, we do our double crochet. So we do that all the way across. And when we get to the end here, remember you're going to have 121 chains. We're going to attach this bottom portion. But I'm going to show you how to go on to our second row. And you're going to work. 14 of these rows okay so go ahead and get to the end when I get to the end here I'll come back and show you how to connect and keep working on to our ex next rows okay here I'm coming to my last two chains so here once again I'm going to do my double crochet decrease go into my last chain here through two and then through the three and do my last double crochet okay so you'll have one long strip and now um, the way she does it she gets her strip and then you would turn it around here okay and then you would attach to the first chain here but what I'm going to do it to make it easier to attach that way you know that it doesn't it's not going to twist I'm going to go ahead and attach the top first so here remember I said the, the chain three counts as one double crochet so here's one two three I'm going to slip stitch into that top chain there and then here you're going to chain three to go up one two three I'm going to pull that out so that I could attach the bottom and now here you would attach on your first chain with first post double crochet post I'm going to pull out my yarn here and here is where I'm going to go ahead and make my um, connecting knot and then I'll bury that um, stitch here and so here, oops, sorry guys, I frayed it a little bit here. So then this would be sewn into your tails and now you would have it all around. Of course, yours is gonna be one big um, round piece and then that way there's no twisting of the chain. Once you've done your slip, slip stitch into your third chain, then remember the first, first three count as one double crochet. So here's one, two, three. You're going to repeat the same thing we did here all the way around. So here's chain three and now on here, chain two and three we're going to do our double crochet decrease yarn over go into that chain pull out your yarn 
pull through two, go into the next two, there'll be four, pull through the first two, then the last three, and then here, once again, you're gonna do a double crochet. Make sure you work through both of these loops here, not just the back loop because it'll come out nice and flatter that way. So here, we're gonna do the same thing. Our pattern just repeats. And this is gonna repeat all the way for the 14 rounds. And then here I'm doing my next double crochet. So go ahead and do that. When you get to the end here, you're gonna do a slip stitch into the third chain, go up chain three, and then begin once again doing this. Repeat this until you have 14 uh, rounds. If you want it thinner, then of course, then you would do it for less rounds. Or if you're doing it for a child, you might want to do just maybe eight rounds for a child. So go ahead and do that, and then we'll come back when we finish our 14 rows. Okay, I have finished my 14 rounds. As you can see, it's pretty wide. So now here, I'm just going to go ahead and pull through and fasten off there. I'm going to sew in that tail. And it's going. this is how it's going to look, just one round, big round infinity scarf or a cowl. And the reason she calls it a cowl is because you can wear it just open this way or else you can put it over your head and then of course show wear it like I've shown you um, by just um, doubling this up and then you're going to put it through your head like this so you'll have a big chunky scarf on your uh, cowl on your neck. And um, this is it. That's all you did to it. You could use different kinds of yarn. And it's just going to be one big piece like that, okay? This is 121 chains that I started with. Disconnected it the same way that I showed you how to do these little one. I just wanted to show you on the small one. And you're just going to continue this way all the way till you do 18. Excuse me, till you do 14. And then you fasten off. This is where we began. This is where we ended. And it does, I want you to know that when you're adding your rows, it doesn't go perfectly straight up. Okay, it starts kind of moving a little bit to the side, so don't get freaked out if that happens. And then that's all you do. You can wear it or give it as a gift. This takes um, three skeins of the Vanish Choice or a little bit less than one of the Super Saver. I use this for, uh, excuse me, I use this Super Saver. And this was new, and this is how much I have left off of seven ounces. But remember, you need a four weight yarn, a medium weight. Um, I think this was, yeah, this is seven ounces, so you'll still have enough left over, and you're all done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Please help me spread the word about my channel and help my channel grow by sharing my videos with your friends and your loved ones. And don't forget that God loves you. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this great video.